Alright, so I'm the Ice Ninja here with. Oh god, jeez. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just call you XX Corpus Junior. Yeah. Right yeah. And today we're going to be unboxing the Steam controller. This just came there. Just woke up from a long nap. And this came in the mail. My brother brought it up to me. And we're going to open it for you guys. Oh, no, I just saw the tape of doom. I have to take that off. It's okay. Here. That's pretty easy. Here, it's on the my. Here, you want to get that bit off. Which bit what, is it? This one? Yeah. Let's do that way. Alright guys. Oh, more tape, really. I can get that off. I'll get back to you guys when I get this open. Guys, managed to get it open. All right, guys, managed to get it open. Right here. Let's start with the actual Steam controller itself. <laughs> right. It does have a weird shape, that's for sure. Right here, we got the two track pads, the analog stick, A B X Y, start and select the Steam home button, and the two shoulder buttons and two uh, pressure sensitive triggers as well, just like the GameCube. And also there's uh, two power buttons in the back here that you can actually remap to any, bu any button you want. So, like whenever you're playing a first person shooter like uh, Dune, you're doing like this and you can just like, use your paddles for jumping and all. They haven't used the actual buttons, so that's pretty cool. Right here looks to be the wireless dongle for it. Controller at all, actually. Many people don't really like the shape of it. No, it's in fact, the many people don't actually like the plasticky feel of it. Actually, right here's the wireless dongle that you plug into your PC so you can use it wirelessly. The two AA batteries here because I believe this is gonna sound weird, but put it inside there. You put it inside here. There, you open that. You open this up, which is the paddles, and then they go inside here, like inside there and there. That's some pretty cheap when you think about it, and it probably is. I just don't like the shape of it at all. Right here we got a quick start guide, but you know what we do quick start guides? A steam control product guide, which is just legal notes and all that. We also know what you do with these. Way a little bit. Right here looks to be, I heard this something like, you plug this into it and it's supposed to give you a better signal or something. I'm not really sure what this is actually supposed to be for. We plug, yeah, I believe you plug this into it or something that gives you a better signal. Oh. And nothing else. No, wait, there's something in here. Here. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Thank you so much, Valve. It doesn't use the tape of doom. Or the, okay, it does have that. It doesn't use the black things of doom. 
Yeah, so this here looks to be a micro USB cable. Now what you should be able to do is you could use it wirelessly, but you could also plug it into the top here. And then plug that into your PC. And you should be able to use it. There's something about this controller is that the trackpads, whenever you put your finger over them, they should, like whenever it's actually plugged in, should like vibrate to give you a feeling of where your finger is. It doesn't really, um, Connor doesn't really like feel the controller, but I think it's okay with it. I think the only thing they can really improve those is shoulder buttons. I think it can just improve the whole <laughs> shape itself. <laughs> it does look like a weird shape. But I'd say it bears itself in your palms quite nicely, for me at least. Probably because I got bigger hands. I just don't, just don't like it at all. Alright, here, I'm going to see if I can hook this thing up with the, uh, with this, and see if I can actually get the thing to work. Alright guys, I got it hooked up and it says it's to install and stop the device. There we are, I can feel it. Oh yeah, there was a little vibration there. I don't think this one has vibration. I don't feel anything. <laughs> you like this controller now? Yeah, I like the sound of it. I like the way. Mm -hmm. Like, it's supposed to give you an idea when you're moving your finger. I thought this one was going to do something that doesn't it wasn't really. I'm guessing that's probably because I have requires click on or something. And yeah, you can click down the um, right trackpad. It's like you can click down the analog stick. I'm going to be playing some games with this as well. Well, whenever that driver device software thing um, updates. I'll be playing some games with this. Do I like this controller? Like, okay, I do like the upside, like the upsides, one, it is the best controller for playing on a couch, so if you're playing on, say, a couch or, like, a bed, like, well, I'm not playing on a bed, I play on a computer chair, it's really good for that, so you can play, like, first-person shooters in the way they were supposed to play, and the second part, I really like the triggers of it, how they're, uh, dual-stage triggers, like, the, uh, the, um, GameCube where you have the analog pull and the digital pull. And also, I like I like how there's paddles in the back as well. The Xbox One Elite did that too, so it's not really a huge thing, but it's still pretty cool to have. Now, for downsides, the D-pad isn't really that great. If you're, because, like, you probably set it to, like, I would probably be better if you set it to requires click off. Because then it'll probably actually feel better. Next thing is the button layout. That's I don't really like that. How the face buttons are down here. And there's a third thing as well. The shoulder buttons I really particularly don't like. They like really you have to like use a lot of force to push them. I just don't like the how the A is down there like the Xbox instead of the Nintendo way. Should you get the Steam controller? Um, I, it's one of those things that, well, I haven't played any games with it yet, but it's one of those things that I would probably say that, like, you can, you would probably get it if you want it, but, oh dang it, <laughs> things about to die. You would probably get it, like, you probably would get it if you'd like it, but I wouldn't say you 100% need it. Like, I wouldn't say it's a must-have. But that could change, that could change the time playing with it. And I really do like the vibrations on this thing as well, like, whenever you're going across the right track pad there. And it's also got, like, a cool ringtone as well, apparently. I don't know, I think it's up for the first time, it has, like, a cool ringtone almost. But there's one thing I really don't like, it's the way the batteries are inserted. Like, you open this here. I mean, great, you do get the wired option as well, so there's that. Let's make sure my panel's still working. Alright, guys, so that's. So let's take a look at everything we had inside this. Alright, 
Alright guys, so this is everything you get in, in the Steam Controller box. Uh, Connor left because he needed the bathroom. So this is everything you get. The wireless dongle, the hub thing, the micro USB cable, the batteries, and the controller itself. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and the thumbs down button if you disliked it. Bye everyone.